All right, we're back here on Sportsline 737-7767 is the number. If you would like to dial in tonight, we'll get to Pecorite coming up as well. I have one other thought on Peyton Manning going into the Super Bowl here. There will be a lot of debate and discussion about whether this is Peyton Manning's last ride, whether this is the end for Peyton Manning and he will retire at the end of the Super Bowl, win or lose. A lot of people have different opinions on whether he should retire or not, and certainly that's not my place. If he wants to keep playing, he deserves the right at this point to write the final chapter of his career so he can do whatever he wants in that regard. But I will offer this piece of advice. If he's thinking he is going to retire... I think Peyton Manning should come out tomorrow and say, I'm retiring. This is my final game. Super Bowl 50 will be my last ride. This is it. I'm going out with these guys in Denver, and I hope we can win a championship. Because here's the thing if Peyton Manning does that, and my guess is he won't because he's not the type of guy that wants to draw attention to himself but this would actually take attention off of him in the weeks leading up to the game. And here's why. If he comes out and addresses that tomorrow and gives all the answers that he needs to tomorrow, what he does then is he takes off the plates for the Denver media for the rest of the week and the national and international media next week in California. That question. If he doesn't talk about it and doesn't address it, then every question next week is going to be, Peyton, what's your future after this game? Have you thought about retirement? Where are you leaning? What percentage on the scale are you between coming back and retiring? Those will be the questions next week. And what's worse is it's not just going to be for Peyton. It's going to be Gary Kubiak. Do you want Peyton Manning back next year? You know, defensive player, X. Do you want Peyton Manning to be the quarterback of this football team next year? Hey, wide receiver, do you want Peyton Manning throwing you the ball next year? Those will be the questions next week. So if he takes the bullet tomorrow or Wednesday and gives the answer, and again, he's got to know the answer already. I'm not telling him to make up his mind tonight. But if he is already thinking, you know what? My, my body didn't last this year. I, I'm at the end of the road. Here we are in the Super Bowl. This is it for me. This is going out on top. Say it now. Take the pressure off yourself. Take the questions off yourself and take them off your teammates. Take the distraction away. And here's the other thing. The last time we really saw somebody do that, it was Ray Lewis in Baltimore three years ago. And that Ravens team rallied around Ray Lewis. Baltimore rallied around Ray Lewis. And that pregame dance of his and everything that goes about it. And it became a journey for Ray. Not just a journey to win a Super Bowl as a team, but it became something else. It became larger than life with his retirement run. And that's what it became. It became a Baltimore Ray Lewis retirement run to a Super Bowl title. And ultimately, they win with the goal line stand with Ray Lewis on the field. Can you imagine if Peyton Manning comes out tomorrow or Wednesday or sometime this week and says, I'm done. This is it. This is my final game. I hope to go out on top with this team and this city in Santa Clara next weekend. Can you imagine what Santa Clara and, or excuse me, Denver and Colorado and, and frankly, Santa Clara and California and the NFL will do for Peyton Manning? I mean, they will be completely enthralled with that storyline. They will be behind him hoping to send out one of the greats in NFL history with a win. The team will rally behind him. The city will rally around him. A lot of the NFL will rally behind him. I just think if you know, if you know, Peyton, that this is your last ride, the play, whether you like it or not, or you think it calls attention to yourself now, the play is to get it out of the way. Take the questions away next week. Allow yourself to focus only on the game, not the decision, as you so much like to do and have done for so many years. Allow your teammates to focus on the game and not your decision or your choice, as they'll have to if you don't answer. To me, that's the play if you're Peyton Manning and you know 
this is the end of the road. Let's go to Gary. Gary, good evening. What's going on? Uh, well, I would just want to offer a suggestion for the Titans. Okay. Well, I think as for starting with the offense, I think that we need to have at least four people on the offense in line and maybe pick up uh, on the defense. We need to get two defensive ends and uh, maybe a backup running back. What do you think about that? Well, you've hit a lot of the holes right there. No question about it, Gary. The uh, Titans have to do something on that offensive line. They've spent so much time recently in trying to build up this offensive line, and it's still not where it needs to be. So they've got to do that. They could use some more punch up front defensively. But to me, the biggest places other than offensive line are playmakers offensively for Mariota. Running back, they need a guy that they can count on. A bell cow back, as Ken Wisenhunt used to call it. They need that guy, and they don't have him right now. They need another playmaker, a wide receiver, and then hopefully Kendall Wright gets healthy. Doriel Green Beckham continues to grow up. They need more playmakers and wideout. And then defensively, I still think the secondary, safety, cornerback, those are your two biggest issues if you're the Titans right now. All right, we've got to take a break. We will come back. We'll get to our interview coming up. Pecorine, Predators All-Star goaltender, talking about the festivities here this week in Smashville. Stay tuned. You're watching Sportsline on News Channel 5+. Plus.